another patient population that that clearly has been underserved uh, in the United States are those patients that have congestive heart failure. Uh, congestive heart failure is associated with a uh, much higher mortality and, and many of those patients uh, can imp have improvements in that mortality through the consideration of defibrillator therapy. Everybody in the United States presently is concerned about medical costs. Uh, one of the interesting things about heart failure in the last 12 or 15 years is that with resynchronization pacing, we've been able to reduce the number of heart failure admissions to the hospitals, been able to reduce the costs of the care of patients with heart failure, and even more importantly from the patient perspective, have been able to restore them a much better quality of life in many instances. You can take patients that have class three congestive heart failure being severely limited uh, by their heart failure, treating them with an electronic device, a resynchronization defibrillator or a resynchronization pacemaker, and changing them to a functional class one or two from a heart failure standpoint, which allows them to again get back to life and, 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 and feel valuable and be able to contribute um, to their quality of life.